everybody, this is Joker Spice, bringing a little spice to your life. Last time, we got to the Shooting Star Summit, and we met Elstar, the leader of the Star Spirits. He gave us a mission to save all the Star Spirits so that we have a chance at defeating Bowser and the pal powerful Star Rod. Um, before we go to the left, we're going to go to the right down here. We never went down this lower path. If you go down here, you will arrive at this mysterious house. Just wanted to show you around the house. There we go. We go inside. We'll meet some lovely characters. Here we have... She's a gorgeous lady named her Lovely. I can't believe I'm in the same room with her. She foresees events and uses her magic powers to find what you're looking for. She's very accurate. I think I'm in love. She's incredible. Pinch me, will you, Mario? Here we have a mysterious box. Can't do anything with it right now. But if we talk to Merlovely from across the table... Ah, my, my! I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show you all that's hidden. My, my! Tell me, shall I read your fortune? She can help us find various objects in the world. 5 coins for star pieces, 20 coins for a badge, and 30 coins for something called a super block. If you don't know what this is yet, but trust me, it is very well worth the price. However, I kind of know where they all are already, so at least when it comes to the super blocks. So I don't think we'll be spending any of our money. This is for when you're really in a peach. My, my, are you sure? If you seek something, please call upon me again. Something that is, I think, more important is actually upstairs. When we reach all the way up here, we see this little kid. Uh, <laughs> sometimes Goombario gets stuck on objects or behind doors, and, but he'll still tattle nonetheless. He's Merlot. He's about the same age as I am. I want to play with him when we finish our adventure. I guess he trades star pieces for badges. We're lovely, who's downstairs is his sister. He's so lucky. So this is the reason why we collect star pieces. I'm the famous Marlow of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for him. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? So this guy has a lot of badges and I definitely recommend you collecting star pieces because in Paper Mario Pro Mode, he has badges that are completely new and have never existed before. Like the Berserker badge, the Crazy Heart badge, Flower Fanatic badge. They're super, super valuable. And some of these, like the Flower Fanatic badge, are just completely, completely worth every star piece. And I will be hoarding my star pieces for quite a while. However, a lot of these early badges are pretty useful too. If you're starting the game for the first time, I'd suggest getting something like, um, I'd, I'd get something like Payoff or Chill Out. Actually, I think I will get the Payoff badge. I'm going to exchange Payoff for one star piece. The number of BP you'll need for this badge is two. Is this the badge you want? Alright, mister. Why don't we swap some more? No, thank you. You don't want to? Oh well. At least I was able to add to my radical star piece collection. Please come back and swap some more with me sometime. Awesome. So, like I said, badges cannot be used unless you equip them. I am, I have this badge and I will be keeping it for a while. However, or I'll, I'll have it, but I won't be putting any uh, badge points on it. And at least until we level up. I think it'll just be useful depending on, uh, de depending on where we are in the world and stuff. Just thought I'd have it. Alright, with that we can finally leave the Shooting Star Summit and move on to our adventure. We should be meeting up with uh, Twink anytime soon. That name still gets me. It's a cute name, but like I had no idea that what it would... That, oh, ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? 
Thank the stars I found you! How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, yes, here it is. Here, take this. So, before I give it to Mario here, when I was a kid, I used to think this was like a football helmet, but instead of a face shield, it was like a star. I know that's ridiculous, because it's clearly supposed to be some kind of necklace, but I don't know. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use action commands. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Alright, I'll let you do it. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you, behind Mario. Would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? Uh, the name's Goombario, of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin! Alright. I'll let Twink do all the explaining from here. First, Mario. Choose the jump command and decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Press A right before landing. Right now! Just before stopping on the enemy! Press A at the exact moment. When you see NICE appear, it means you successfully use the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Right now! Press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully use the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Press the control stick to the left and release it when the starlight lights up. Okay, move the control stick. Star flashes as soon as your power- Whoa, too fast. Alright. <laughs> Alright, you successfully use the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. Sure. The action command will serve you well, so practice it. If you're done with this training session, choose the end training command. Alright, so it's basically Twink explained it really perfectly. Action commands are your bread and butter in this game, and at this point you were not able to use action commands. And the game was really simple, but now that we've gotten action commands, this game is a lot more interesting to play, and it feels a little bit more interactive. One of the reasons why I really like this game is that you're not just selecting options in the menu, but you actually get to influence how the battle goes, and there's a little bit of skill involved. There we go. Alright, I still got it. Oh, alright. That's a, You know, I'm gonna say right now, Goombario's attack specifically is kind of awkward to uh <laughs> to block just because uh just because Goombario's head bonk is different from a normal Goomba's head bonk. All right, we'll just do one more block. Nope, that was too early. How is that too early? Okay, well, whatever. We're done. Well, I guess it's all I can teach you. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Gabby Cooper. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. All right, so we get a little bit of a mini boss to kind of practice our action commands with. Uh, this this guy is really powerful though, so I'd watch it. Let's do a little tattle. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Uh, these Magic Koopas are different from other Magic Koopas we will be facing in the future. Spoiler alert. 
So, uh, when we, so their title will be different when we get to them. Jumping on this enemy will make them fall. Not that it really matters, but in case you wanted to use a hammer, that's how you do it. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, in uh, in promo, the attack comes from behind, so it's definitely a lot harder to, uh, to avoid that one. Goombario's head bonk attack is the exact same as the jump. It's what I was saying before, but this time, it's the same as the jump. You just press A right before you're striking the enemy. It's the same. There we go. Um, as you can see, when blocking an attack in Paper Mario Pro Mode actually defends you from two damage, as opposed to just the uh, just the one damage in the regular version of the game. So blocking is especially important. All right, oof. I'm gonna use. Well, I'll have Goombario attack first, since that's all he can do. You know, I really. All right, I'm gonna take a little gamble. Hopefully, I can I can just block it because. I feel like taking a mushroom at this point would be pretty useless. Oh. Well. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this game is no joke. So I, I guess I'll meet you back at the fight. Hopefully I'll win it this time. Something that I actually neglected to explain last time is that if you press the L or the Z button, you can actually go back and see what someone said in case you accidentally click too quickly. And when you press the B button, then you can scroll through text a lot faster. Thankfully, we can say no to uh, Twink's tutorial, so I'm gonna do just that. No, I do not want to do that. I think I'm good, thank you. Alright, and something else that I like to say that I did in preparation for this fight is that I took off the hammer throw, because I won't be using it in this particular fight. And I put on the close call badge instead. So, hopefully that'll give me a little bit of, uh, help when we're encountering, uh, when, when we're doing, when we're doing this fight. Just gonna, I like to tattle every enemy, I don't know. It's a little, I'm a little compulsive like that, I just, I just, I feel like I have to. Alright, let's do it. The timing for the power jump is just the same as the jump. You don't do two hops, you just do all your damn, oh sh I'm so used to other Paper Mario, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose really quickly. Hope not. So far, this battle is going pretty much the same way. I'm so I'm so bad at this timing. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, no gambles this time. I'm just gonna eat a mushroom. Probably should have done that before. Oh well. There we go. All right, I got that one. All right, we're done. Lots of star points though, so that's good. This game is no pushover. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm gonna return to the Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Woof! We're not looking so good. First thing we're gonna do is go straight to the inn. Um, yeah, I think I'll change my badges back now, though. Trust me, you'll definitely want that hammer throw. Um, FP is definitely gonna be raised up in my next level up, because I need to be able to use more... Special attacks. Can't just use two power jumps and and that's it. Oh! Mario! Merlin was looking for you! He lives in that house with a spinning roof! He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house! I was just about to go look for you, but 
Here you are! It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all! Alright, we'll do just that after we take a short rest. Alright, now that we're all rested up, let's go see Merlin. Last time he was out, so hopefully we do not have to worry about that. Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! Ooh, oh gosh. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. What a grump. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But, before I tell you about it, there are some other things which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared and I, standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious, was raised me up. Was amazing. I was still so young then, I believed in. But our hearts were, and then, so. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm, something about the pious. Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but... According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of Toe Town. Yep, just uh, if you if you get lost in your adventure and you have absolutely no idea what to do, you can talk to this guy across the counter, across the table, and he'll use his magical orb or his giant uh, star point, and he'll be able to tell us where to go. All right. East, let us go. Hopefully those toads aren't there. They looked really mean. Oh no, they are very much still there. Maybe they'll move if we tell them that we have an important mission? You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Go to Cooper Bros. Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask old Merlin for help. That'd be really bad news for us. I, I, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Hmm. All right, I guess we'll do exactly the opposite, cause we can't go and uh, I don't know. Merlin seems like a cool guy. Maybe he'll help us. He's super grumpy. He'll scare him away. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toe Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. Now I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. All right, perfect. Have a little entourage coming over here with our crew. It's crew versus crew. We're gonna have an epic rap battle. I tell you, you can't pass. Take off. <clears throat> You're you are toads, aren't you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Just I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How? Oh, how'd you guess it was us? We have probably like disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green, we retreat. For now. Mario, those imposters was none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout. The Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, 
Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. Whoa, portent? Is that a word? I guess it is. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find him. You might find something that will help. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Oh boy, I cannot read today. Holy crap. All right. Um, with that, let's go. Finally. Chapter one: Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. To the west of here is Toad Town, and to the east is Koopa Village. If we go even farther east, we'll eventually reach Koopa Bros Fortress. Awesome. Here we have a new enemy. And this is why you absolutely need the Hammer Throw. In Paper Mario Pro Mode, they made extra sure to make each battle more and more difficult. And that includes putting enemies that you would otherwise not be able to reach with your hammer behind enemies that have higher defense and higher HP. So, and Gumbario cannot deal with these spiked enemies because he's not going to hurt himself. So we might as well start using this hammer throw. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's followers. If you flip them over, their defense will drop and it'll become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a POW block or a jump attack. There we go. Um, Koopa Troopas. As long as you attack a Koopa Troopa with a jump, they cannot get up the next turn. However, if you leave them for one complete turn, they will get back up. So, as long as you jump on them at least once, you can pretty much incapacitate them for the rest of the battle. You don't have to worry about uh, attacking them every turn. Honestly, it's the spiked Goombas that are actually a menace. If you're not managing them, oh, oops. If you're ma not managing them correctly, then they're really gonna mess you up because they do four damage every single time they attack you if you if you don't block. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. I already ran out of FP though, so we might be in trouble. Now that we have the um, the block command. And we, we can block up to two damage, so those Goombas won't be doing any more damage to us, as long as we're doing the block correctly. Otherwise, they'll be doing two, which is actually a pretty decent amount of, uh, of damage. Conserving FP is definitely the way to go, if you can. Um, you definitely only want to use FP when you want to basically reduce the amount of damage you want to take in a single battle. It's all about surviving until the, the, until the next until the end of the route, or the next bin. It's pretty much standard Mario fare that, um, the first, the first, like, chapter always seems to be, like, grasslands and stuff like that. So, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a Mario game if it wasn't like that. When you do first attacks on enemies, uh, outside of battle, you'll notice that you don't actually do an action command in the battle so you can only do like a little bit of damage to an enemy as you start out as you can see i was not able to take out that goomba when i otherwise could have with an action command here we have a brand new enemy this enemy is so brand new um it's not in the original game this is a spiked para goomba this is a okay i just said that <laughs> Well, Mario, we might be in trouble here. As you can see, he's wearing one of those awesome spiky helmets. That rules out my head bonk and other jump attacks. But how else can we reach him? Doesn't he have any other attacks that can hit flying enemies? And we're gonna get one of those sweet spiky helmets. That's cool. I'm very excited to hear all of Goombario's uh, quips and stuff for the new enemies that we haven't encountered yet. 
And this is why you need the hammer throw. Because if you do not have it, then you will not be able... Oh no. Uh, you will not be able to defeat those enemies at all. But the rest of the battle is super easy once we take out that, uh, that one problem. Definitely a priority. I'm not sure if the spiked Paragoomba will do more damage than a regular Paragoomba. I'm not sure if it attacks with its foot or with its head. I do not want to find out, so hopefully I, I don't. Whenever you encounter a red block as opposed to a yellow block, it'll always hold a badge. A dizzy attack badge. I did not read the description, but what it does is that when you use your spin attack, which is, um, which is, which, this is actually a pretty nice badge, it'll make the first enemy in the battle, the first one in the lineup, it'll, un it'll be unable to move for uh, a single turn. Most of the statuses in this game just do the same thing. They just make it so that you can't move or anything. All right. Right away, I know about this particular enemy because I have beaten chapter one in Big Mario Pro mode. So I'll tell you right now, do not engage this enemy. Don't, don't do it. It's absolutely not worth it. It has like 20 HP and it does such calamitous damage that if you, if you, if you engage it, you'll have a really hard time winning. So just don't even do it. And he is going to just shoot out a bunch of hammers. So you need to be careful to, to dodge it. Like, like that. That's super scary. That thing will, that is a run, run ender right there. You'll get a game over if you fight it. All right. Oh no. I'm going to have to eat one of my goon nuts. Oh, all right. So we'll have Goombario get this guy. That way nobody, they can't attack us. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have to eat. I'm going to have to eat a goon nut. It's gonna take too many turns to take out the Koopas before I can use a regular hammer. All right, let's let's block this now. There we go. Only two damage. All right, that guy's taken out, and uh, we're smooth sailing for the rest of this battle. I'm really enjoying Paper Mario Pro mode though, because it, it definitely adds a lot more uh, complexity to the battles, and it makes you think a lot more. And with the fact that enemies can even attack in different ways, as shown by the Magic Koopa, if you if you're not on your toes and you're and you're not diligent, then you're just gonna get smacked. All right, here we go. So as we see when we exit, we can't seem to cross this bridge. Hit this tree, we got a switch. Let's try to hit it. And then we can cross. Uh, I think Goombario actually does give you a hint in case you in case you uh can't figure that out. Oh no, never mind. He does not do that. Let's see if he can I wanna get that that block. No oh Alright, so this is a good opportunity to well Okay, Goombario cannot run away, just to let you know. So I'm gonna tackle this enemy first. Before we die, before we lose. Uh, these are hammer bros. You've seen these punks before, haven't you? Be careful with the hammer. If it hits you, you'll get shrunk in a wink. The shrunk status makes it so that, uh, other than being, like, tiny, you'll do, I think, one or two less damage. I think so. When the hammer bro gets desperate, they'll hurt a ton of hammers, so watch it. These guys have a, uh, these guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them an old-fashioned walloping. As always, they're not to be underestimated. So yeah, this guy has 20 HP. That's way more than a Hammer Bro should have, and we're no, we're we're out of here. Come on. So when you run away, you want to press A as fast as you can. Let's get this power block. No, I want it. I want that power block. Ugh, I got it. Woo, let's get out of here. When you run away, you want to press A as fast as you can in order to maximize your bar, and. When you run away, you pretty much always lose five coins, unless you recollect them. There we go. Just wanted to show you something interesting, since Goombario is pretty much useless in this battle. When you attack a spiked Goomba with, for example, Goombario, who gets hurt, as you can see, he becomes paralyzed or injured, and he cannot move anymore. Because he got attacked for one damage, he is incapacitated for one turn. 
This is just an example of a fright jar being used. As you can see, it actually made the most problematic enemy disappear, so you know what? That's not so bad. But as you can see, there are no star points on the bottom right corner of the screen. Oh, man. I need to get better at these blocks, oh my goodness. Depending on the version of the game you're playing, the, the blocks might be a little bit different, so it's definitely best to experiment with the, whatever controller you're using, whether you're playing this game on the virtual console or not. Got another sleepy sheep right here. Alright, before I engage that enemy, because I do want to attack, I do want to follow my own advice and, and fight every enemy that we see along the way once. If you come here, you'll see that there are these little pillar things. Um, if you walk around this one, this one will spit out hearts indefinitely. So I'm just going to use this thing to, to heal up completely. And I love that it, it does the Starman theme from the Super Mario, from the original Super Mario Bros. game. I think it's a really cute little addition. It's a fun secret too. There we go, nice and fully healed. Behind here we got a honey syrup. And I'm just gonna go fight that enemy, I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. I only took uh, four damage in that. Oh, well, I took four damage, but the enemies dropped a heart and a flower, so. Alright, there we go. So, if you read the sign, we can go to the Koopa Bros Fortress, but Merlin said that we needed to go to the Koopa Village in order to find someone with a blue shell. So, we're gonna do that. If we try to go to the right, uh, we will have a bad time. Here is a fun little secret. There are three blocks here. If you hit the blocks, left, right, and then middle, we will get an Attack FX badge. We saw one that was being stole by Merlot at Shooting Star Summit. Uh, this is just a fun little badge that changes the sound effect of Mario's attacks in battle and on the field. So instead of just like a thunk sound, we get a... It's the same sound that plays when uh, in between cutscenes when we uh, are at Princess Peach's castle. Can it be? Are you Mario? Uh, welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like these black fuzzy things. Crazy eyes and square teeth. Mean guys, they're really naughty. <sighs> no! Oh no, stupid fuzzy! Get back here with my shell! So, we gotta help these guys out. Ugh, but it is kind of cute to see what a Koopa looks like without a shell. I like that it's wearing a little tank top. If you hammer or jump on these guys, you can get back the shells and uh, defeat, the, defeat the fuzzies. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. That's kind of a funny idea for the... That they would, that they, they, they could, they could steal Mario's overalls. It's easier to jump on these ones than the ones that are just kind of jumping around. Attacking them will give you a little coin, but they're not. None of this is necessarily uh, necessary. It's kind of a little tutorial almost. Just use your various skills in order to figure it out. Oh, you're the best! Thank you so much. This one's up in a tree. Hammer it, and it'll come down. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how good do I look? I hope you guys know in reality that turtle and tortoise shells do not come off. Hey, we got another toad. I'm just gonna rest really quickly. We don't have any FP. We did heal our HP, but we got no FP and we really do need it. Did you sleep well? Great, have a good adventure. Oh, I forgot to give him the toad voice. Oh, that's okay. Here, we get an item shop. Um, I would recommend you getting a fire flower right now. I know it's a little expensive, but trust me, if you have not used a fire, your fire flower from the prologue, keep it. Uh, but if you have used it, I'd buy another one. Awesome. This is a vault shroom. 
Um, this one's also pretty useful. It electrifies Mario briefly and damages any enemy that touches him. If you're, it, it's very expensive, but it's very useful for this part of the game. But I'm not gonna get it. Oh, and that's a dizzy dial. The dizzy dial is kind of like a sleepy sheet. It affects all the characters in the room. If it works, it'll make all the enemies dizzy. Well, that looks like a blue shelf house. Maybe we can go inside. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This guy even has sand in his house. There's some bob bombs in here, or bob bombs if you uh, prefer. Supposedly, these bob bombs recently ran away from Koopa Bros Fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. Fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bob bombs. Huh? Me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. Well, I take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. Something that I think is really cute in this game is that the bad Koopas have sunglasses and uh, and spiked wrists and collars, kind of like Bowser does. It's the best way to distinguish them. We're bob -ombs. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. We thought we'd at least find uh, some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. I will never ever go back to work in such a terrible place. Alright. Apparently the Koopa Bros are, uh, are not cool guys. Well, that's an interesting character. What's that? He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops up in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean... He, he's, he'll, uh, but he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute. He has an assistant? wonder where. Let's talk to him. Quiz! Check Quizmo's the name and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Y y Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Wanna try a quiz? I do. Then let's get to the question. Question. What color of pants was the Gooba King wearing? That was red and white. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. So if you answer questions correctly, this is another way to get star pieces. You've correctly entered one question so far. But we're not done yet. Want to try the next one? In the original Paper Mario, you'd be done now, and you'd have to go find him again if you want another star piece. But in Pro Mode, they'll let you answer multiple questions at once, which I really appreciate. Then let's go to the question. The question. What did Luigi want to tell you back at Princess Peach's party? Um, I believe he was telling me about the zero <laughs> real estate investing. Too funny. The Zero EXP Collection, or Challenge. Uh, the questions are different in Paper Mario Pro Mode, so uh, be aware of that. Some of the questions will overlap, like that first question, but otherwise you all you might have to look it up. If you do not know the answers. Congratulations! Here's your Sharpies! Alright, let's keep answering questions until we get them wrong. Question! How many bushes can you search in Junior Troopers? Oh, whoa. Uh, I want to say... Like... Six? Oh, shoot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know! I, I definitely didn't count the amount of bushes. Better luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Man. That's cool. When you investigate this bush, you get a Koopa leaf. It does the exact same thing as a Goom Nut. So, we only have one Goom Nut now, so, and we have one Koopa leaf, so... In case you ran out of Goom Nuts, that's another way to get some FP restoring items. Alright. Here we have a uh, another one. As you can see, the Koopa's trying to run towards the shell, but it keeps running away. 
Mario can actually kind of tiptoe if you move the control stick very slightly. So if we do just that and then use the hammer attack, then we can sneak up on the Fozzie and get it. Uh, walking slowly is a mechanic that will be used in this game, so it's a good thing they're teaching about us now. Well, thank you! Typical Mario style! You're just as cool as I heard you were. Thanks. Here we got a, a block puzzle. Wouldn't be an RPG if we didn't have any block puzzle, uh, block puzzles yet. Makes me feel like I'm playing Ocarina of Time all over again. I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. I might have known. You're so clever. I don't know. I feel like that's a strange thing to say. Oh. Oh, nice double action. Talk about double dipping. Nice. All right, I think that's all of them. Here we got this nice red house. What's the world coming to when a group can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies? I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. That is a very old man. Oh my goodness. Here we got another house. Yellow this time. A girl Koopa, probably. It's, it, I think so. It's got eyelashes. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. Let's see if there's anything back here. No, but that's kind of cool. We got like a treasure map, lots of books. I guess this must be the office of her husband. Alright, this is the last house. It's uh, It sure is rumbling, so let's go in. Who's there? Well, I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I, I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go without my shell. Period. Way too embarrassing. Problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you! Oh, he even bows. That's really cute. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We gotta help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll go to the door while you grab him like whoa. Alright. However, I think we have spent a, a lot of time today uh, going down Pleasant Path and coming here to this village. We seem to have helped the village quite a bit. All the fuzzies are gone except for the ones that are inside Cooper's house. So next time, we will help Cooper get his shell back. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give me a little like and maybe a comment. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> looks like the fuzzy's back. Oh, they're really back. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you.